Good afternoon. I'm your local councillor, and I wondered if we could count on your, uh... <laughs> I'll be happy to discuss any issues with you. We don't discuss our politics with anybody. Oh. oh well. Fair enough. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. I'm your local council. Peace off. <laughs> hip, hip. Go on, Eddie. Let's go towards our granddad's. Can you imagine what he'll say? Peace <laughs> off. All right, all right. We can do without the quartet. Oh, oh. Cover your mouth, Billy. It's like having lunch with a manhole. <laughs> He's not yawning again. You're not yawning again. Look, I've made and delivered 200 sandwiches this morning. Mum makes them? All you do is stand around in a day wrapping everything up in cling film. And I mean everything you pass with my wallet up twice this morning. <laughs> I'm under pressure, aren't I? I've got Julie and the baby to think about. The christening's on Saturday. The next thing you know, she'll be wanting a bike. She's eight weeks old. She's nine weeks old. Nine? Oh, well, that's different. Let's all panic about getting her a bike. <laughs> You should have thought about all this before you became a father. I didn't know I was going to become a father, did I? If you dive into an empty pool, Billy, you can expect to bang your head. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? He's speaking metaphorically. I'm not a linguist, am I? Oh, leave him alone. He's like his dad. No plans, no thought. Just stick your finger in the mangle and see how much of your arms left. <laughs> First you say I don't plan, and then when I say the baby will need a bike one day, that's wrong too, everything's wrong. The way my life's going, I'll need a bike before she does. I'm sorry I mentioned it now, I'm sorry I spoke. Hey, hold it, hold it. And what we're saying, Billy, is if you have to worry, worry about immediate things like bunny rabbits and teddy bears, not things that are ten years away. Don't need bikes in ten years' time. With all the insecticides we're eating, we'll all be up there fighting with the pigeons for the perch. I've ordered the cake for the christening, by the way. I haven't got anything. All my redundancy money is gone. And what about the money you spent yesterday with Jack? It didn't work out. What do you mean it didn't work out? I got your buyer for that picture. He was stood there waiting with the money in his hand. He didn't want it. You phoned twice yesterday about it. Well, give him a ring. It's no sweat. Look, that was a good picture, a bargain. I don't like people who let me down. That wasn't all that good. Look, I know a good picture when I see one. Yeah, but you saw it the day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and its value went down yesterday. I was feeling optimistic about things. I jumped into the back of the van. He put his foot through it. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Billy. Do you remember the last picture you bought? I poisoned him one day. Julie put a hole through it. I told you there was no money in holy pictures. <laughs> You're a little gremlin, you are. Huddled by the table, he hearing at other people's misfortunes. Right, well, I think that's everything. Prayers, everybody. I've applied for a job. But I don't want to talk about it yet, but if I get it, I'll put double in the pot. I know I'm a failure. Nobody's a failure in this family, Adrian. We all have our lucky days and our unlucky days. I'm very moved. <laughs> prayers. I thought we only said prayers before dinner. When we've got a lot of problems, we say a lot of prayers. I've been mugged. Oh, my God. Oh, it's okay, Mum. It's okay. 
Oh, you're right, Princess. Oh, my baby, my baby, sit down, love. I know. I'll call the fire brigade. <laughs> now, listen, listen, sweetheart. Just, just answer me when you're ready. There's no rush. No need to worry. Did he touch you? Go out there and kill him. Did he? No. He just took me back. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> and I've me glittering. 